Shalom. Welcome to the Messianic Hour with Rabbi Scott Sekulow. The Messianic Hour is a program designed to give you insight into the Jewish roots of your faith. Rabbi Scott is also here to answer your questions and help you gain a deeper understanding of Bible prophecy. And now, here's your host, Rabbi Scott Sekulow. Shalom and welcome to another edition of the Messianic Hour. I'm your host, Rabbi Scott. This show is dedicated to reaching the lost and educating the found. I'm glad you're with us this week. We have a very big announcement. We're going to be talking about it in the first segment of the show. Uh, you're going to have to wait there, but it's been something we've been wanting to share with you for a long time, and it has uh, come to fruition this week, and so we want to tell you about it as we uh, have a very big announcement for the ministry. Today, though, you're only stuck with me. Judy uh, had to go out of town on a, a family issue. We had lost her aunt a few months ago, and she's helping her mom take care of the estate. So you have just Rabbi Scott this week as we come up to you and share. I want to encourage you, go to our website, RabbiScott.com. You can sign up for our newsletter. You get a free book called I Have a Friend Who's Jewish to You and a Prophecy Card, 70 Key Prophecies, where they're found in the uh, Torah, where they're fulfilled in the Renewed Covenant. It's a great way to help you to share your faith uh, with your unsaved Jewish and Gentile friends. Uh, again, you can also l- l- have a uh, app for your Android and your Apple products, so you can check those out in the stores. You can search our name or the Messianic Hour. Also remember, we live stream all of our services at Congregation Beth Adonai. It also has an app Uh, in the stores as well, and you can check that out. Let us be your Messianic connection. Uh, If you're looking for a home, we're glad that you're with us. Again, we got a great show in store for you. There's a lot going on. Our prayers go out to those in uh, Boston with the uh, recent attacks there. We're going to be talking about that in the second half of the show as well. Is there a Jewish connection? Is there a connection with Israel about that bombing? We're going to be taking a look at that. You're not hearing it on the news but we're going to see what is going on with that as well and look into more of the details on that. Again, I want to encourage you go to the website, RabbiScott.com, for more information. While you're there, you can also uh, plant a tree in Israel. What a great way to mark a special occasion, the passing of a loved one. That's at RabbiScott.com. And remember to check us out on Vimeo, YouTube. Uh, we were joking around. We have all the tubes now set up. Cross TV, uh, check those out so that you can join us. Remember also Facebook. We have a Facebook page as well, and a Twitter account. It's rab at the at sign Rabbi underscore Scott. Uh, come and be a friend of us, and you can ask your questions there online as well. So check that out. We got a lot in store for you this week. Kind of a special edition of the show, uh, as we are going to be looking at a great announcement, what's going on in the ministry, and the effects of what happened at the marathon, and how that affects us in the U.S. and Israel. We're going to look at those connections there as well. Again, RabbiScott.com for more information as we get ready to have a great show. I'm glad you're with us. Again, Judy is unfortunately out this week, so I'm flying solo. I want to encourage you, too, though, to watch us. If you only are listening, you can watch us online at our website as well. When we get back, we're going to be making that big announcement. Stay tuned. You're listening to the Messianic Hour. Jerusalem, if I forget you. Welcome back to the Messianic Hour. I'm your host, Rabbi Scott. The show is dedicated to reaching the lost and educating the found. I want to encourage you to go to our website, RabbiScott.com. Sign up for our newsletter. While you're there, check out how you can bless Israel. Remember, we also are a listener-supported show, but you can bless Israel, too, by planting a tree in Israel. We give you a beautiful certificate in remembrance of that special event that helps our ministry and Israel. You can also uh, support us securely online 
as we share the lost, share to the lost, and uh, want to reach them out literally around the world. And I said in the in our teaser, we have a big announcement. We've been working on a project for a while now. As you know, as our ministry, actually, the ministry is actually the real name is Israel's Harvest Ministries, and we started it in the uh, early 1990s. And I would go out speaking at churches and. Uh, we worked on mission trips and sharing the gospel around the world, but really the Lord has also brought us into a new uh, era, and we've been using the internet to share the gospel. As you know, we are not only with the airwaves on the radio, we're on over 75 stations across the U.S., we're on the internet as well, and we actually have stations that uh, broadcast from Israel our uh, show each week. Uh, so we are literally coming in the land, going into the land, and going out of the land. We have listeners around the world, uh, not only in Israel, in the United Arab Emirates, other places across the U.S. and abroad. And we also now have our weekly uh, service that you can live stream as well. All of our uh, TV shows, are, I mean our radio shows, are now uh, available on the internet as well, so you can actually hear us and see us as we do this. We have the apps, and we're always trying to, to use that to reach out to the lost and educate the found. That's really been always been our goal. We're, again, supported by individuals like yourself, and this has given us a great opportunity. As you know, we've been on the uh, YouTube and Vimeo and Cross TV, but here is our big announcement for all you that have those Roku boxes, if you don't know what a Roku box is, it's kind of like the Apple TV box. It's a special little box you hooks up with all you need is internet, and it gives you things like Netflix and all these different channels. But unlike the Apple box where, you, where it's limited on the channels, the Roku has literally thousands of channels. I'm a big Apple fan, and it, it hurts me that they're not as advanced as this little Roku box. But it's a great opportunity, and we, a few months ago, were given the opportunity to apply for a station on the Roku channels. And we just got the announcement this week. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm very pleased to announce that if you, as we get ready, if you can, if Kim will change the camera there, you, if you have a Roku box, or if you want to buy one up, you can get them at uh, all the major uh, big boxes and online. But you can search the Messianic channel, and that is our station that uh, we have set up so that you can see and hear and watch what we're doing. We're going to be adding a lot of things in. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. So we'll be loading it up. You can see we already have a number of our different uh, shows that are there. You can be able to see the weekly services. We're doing some test runs. It's so easy to use. It Literally, it's a three-step process, and you're all set. And you can watch one of our shows. Hopefully, you won't get any feedback here as I turn it on. But you can see uh, the shows. You can also rate us. So check that out. Again, at RabbiScott.com. I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. I think we can do that. So there, that's scary. There I am as I'm talking to you. And uh, But again, this is a great opportunity. So check out our Roku channel. At called the Messianic Channel. We are going to be having a new website for that as well. It will be the uh, MessianicChannel.com, so you can check that out. It's not up yet. Again, we just got the approval, so now we're getting that uh, website set up. But our goal is to not only have our shows on it, but then to also bring other great teachers on it to be able to show. So that's really a spot where you can go to and get solid, biblically-based Messianic teaching. Unfortunately, there's a lot out there right now so from some of the Ephraimites and the two-house groups that are not solid biblical teaching. And we believe in, the, in, in really studying the Word of God and really focusing in on, on the Word. We don't focus in on the name of God like some of these groups do or the sacred name. That's not what we're, we're here for. We're here to teach and educate. And this is our next level. It's a great opportunity. We're the first Messianic channel on Roku. This is a, uh, a really a, an a amazing opportunity. 
uh, when you search Messianic, we come up and the God Learning Channel, a great uh, Christian station. I've been on their uh, shows before, and but we're the only one that is messianic, and we're really going to be doing a forefront on that. That's what this ministry is really about. We really stay uh, ahead of the pack. We're on the cutting edge. We're the first congregation and the first ministry to have a messianic app for both uh, the iPads and I, uh, Apple products and for the uh, droids as well. We need your help, though. These are things that are not free. We have to pay for these. So if you want to really bless the ministry, you can help us. You can go securely online and support the ministry. This is what we focus on. We, Judy and I don't get a salary from this ministry. We are paid from our congregation. This money goes to really educating and reaching the lost. That's what it's here for. So when you give to this, those are the projects it's going for. It's going to help us to share the gospel. An amazing thing I got when we found out from the company that uh, brought us, uh, helped us set up the channel, they were amazed that when they put us on Roku, in the first day we had over 200 people already sign up. We didn't even know it was on at that time. And the numbers are already increasing. We were able to look, and from uh, it was started three days ago from this taping. We had about 600 uh, people view on the first day. The second day, it went over to 1,100. Today, it's not even over yet. Matter of fact, it's not even uh, a little bit of past noon. There's over 3,000 people that have watched, tune in to watch our channel. We're having a great opportunity. We're reaching not only the United States, Canada, Peru, United Kingdom. Uh, we also had, uh, where else, United Kingdom, Russia, Romania, all these countries. People are already tuning in and watching. We're able to share the good news of the Messiah for both Jew and Gentile literally around the world. And it's because of people like you who pray for us and support us that we can continue to do this great work. But we need you really to stand with us at this time as we're sharing the gospel down around the world. I want to encourage you, if you have a Roku box, I want to encourage you to go to your box like not only set our page but like it as well because that will move us up in the ranking so please uh, do that and be a part of this great opportunity to reach the lost and educate the found we're going to be adding again more shows more teachings we're looking to do a lot more in the future with it as well we're going to be adding other ministries so that the the solid word of god can be shared to people wherever they are in their homes and so, again, how do you do this? All you have to do is buy a little box. It's called a Roku. You can get them at Walmart, Sam's, uh, Amazon. They're about $80. And it literally takes three steps. It is so easy to hook up. It hooks up through your Internet. No monthly fees. And you can do a lot more than just watch our station, but you can really focus in. Of course, we want you to focus in on that. But it'll be a great opportunity for you to come and be a part of it. Help us to reach the world. This is a great opportunity that God really miraculously opened the doors. The, the funny thing about this is how we found out about it. It was almost one of those phishing um, emails. A person had emailed us, and uh, I normally don't open them, but we were looking into this, and they'd actually gotten our name from a uh, organization that we were a part of, the NRB, and we checked it out, and what was, was amazing, they had a part of their ministry, part of their uh, company, actually helped to get uh, Christian and Messianic teachings online. They literally donated five, the $5,000 it cost to set the channel up. They covered it. So it was a great opportunity. We want to thank uh, Lightcaster for helping and being a part of it. Again, this is a great opportunity for us to share to the world. We have, again, in just three days, our numbers have gone from zero to over 3,000 people that are watching uh, and with us out of him promoting it and being able to reach out. So I want to encourage you, again, you can uh, flip on. It's so easy to use. I'm going to flip back. You can see our logo, the Messianic Channel. That's what it's called. We use that name because, again, we're going to be adding more and more uh, teachings onto it. We will be having a website for that as well so you can tune in, be a part of it. And I'm sure we'll have all the tweeters and uh, all the Facebook pages and all that for it as well. 
as we get moving on it. So please let your friends know if they have a Roku box. A lot of people, over 3 million houses have these little boxes now. We can reach the world coming right from Tucker, Georgia. So again, go to our website, rabbiscott.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We'll give you more information there. Again, you can watch us now. Not only listen, but watch us as well. When we get back, we're going to be talking about what happened in Boston and how there's a, a, a Jewish connection. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Messianic Hour. I'm your host, Rabbi Scott. The show is dedicated to reaching the lost and educating the found. Again, I want to encourage you. We made some big news. If you missed the first half of the show, we are now, we have a new way for you to watch uh, not only our uh, radio show, but you can also watch our weekly Shabbat services. We're hoping in the next week or two, we're going to be uh, now getting ready to be able to do live streaming as well on there. That's something that we're now, now that we have the channel, we have to talk to the, get all the buttons pushed in the right place, but you'll be able to also live stream our services right there on your Roku box. Again, a Roku box is just like an Apple TV box. Uh, you can watch Netflix and Hulu and all those other stations, but Roku gives you so much more. You can also play games with it. It's great. But the Messianic channel, that is our new channel on the Roku station. If you have a Roku box, please not only add us, but like us as well. That helps us with the rankings, so they'll move us up in the areas of people flipping around. We're under the spiritual section, religion and spiritual. Again, the Messianic channel, great opportunity for you to be able to reach out and us be able to share. We already have, again, 3,000 plus people watching in just one day. We have people from Canada, uh, the former Soviet Union, the Romania, the United Kingdom, Peru, of course, the United States as well. Great opportunity. We thank those who have supported us in the past for helping us to make this happen. Again, go to RabbiScott.com, sign up for our newsletter, you get more information as well. But I want to share with you right now, we know the, tra the tremendous tragedy that happened this past week with the Boston Marathon and a, a either a person or a terrorist group. We don't know yet what took place. They don't know who did it yet. I have my suspicions. I, I personally think it is a terrorist group that uh, did this horrible, horrendous attack on innocent people. That's what the amazing thing here. And, you know, when, when I saw those pictures of the people that were injured, unfortunately, the immediate response that went in my mind was, this is how it is, that how it's been in Israel for decades as these terrorists use ways not to go against military, but to go against civilians and how they will tr wreak havoc among it. That's why Israel had to put up that wall that separated Israel from the Palestinian area. When they did that, what happened? They're, they haven't had an attack like that in now over two years because they put that wall up and they can't get in so easily. That's why we need to protect our borders from people like this. I think as we learn more and more about it, we're going to see that this was a terrorist attack, probably from an outside group. It might have had a, a sleeper cell in here. Again, this is just from what I've been hearing on the news, what I'm seeing. I, can I pinpoint anything on that? No, I cannot. But I think as we see it, the news breaking, we're going to see that. But here's something very interesting. We also had, the uh, again, the letters that were being sent to uh, congressmen and women and our president with Ryzen on it. Again, same time period. I don't think this is by chance. Uh, former mayor uh, of New York, uh, Cuomo, was saying that you can't look at these as by you know just coincidences that when things like this happen, there's usually a connection. But here's the interesting thing. Is there a connection with Israel? Did they pick this date just at random, or is there a bigger picture here? And that's really something that we're going to look at because people don't realize that a lot of the attacks that happen Groups like Hamas and Fatah and the brother Muslim Brotherhood, who is behind these groups, like to do it on dates that are 
uh, you know, important so that we will remember them year after year after year. Why did they attack on 9-11? It's a number that we're used to. What is 9-11 used for when you're calling out for emergencies? So they do these types of things and events so that they will always be before our eyes, again, continuing their terrorist attacks. So is there a connection between Israel and this event? Here's the interesting thing. What was going on in Israel on that date? You might be saying, is it anything? There's no Jewish holidays, but there is a very special day, one that if you're, try, if you're a uh, Muslim group that is against Israel would want a way to mark it and to show your disappointment. And what is it? None other than Israel's Independence Day. So we have here a connection with Boston, what had happened in Boston, we know we had the Boston Tea Party. The events that take place there are independent for our nation. It's very much based on what happened in Boston as well. I think that this is not a, just a coincidence, but you see how these, when you start putting the pieces of the puzzle together, how we get to start to see the bigger picture. They were making a statement. Uh, if if I'm correct, and we're seeing that it is actually uh, not just an individual, but that it's actually a terrorist organization or terrorist cell, you're going to see how that connection will come into place as them trying to make a point with what's happening. Here's what we have to remember. As a nation, we're now seeing what Israel goes through and has gone through in the past almost on a daily basis, you know, uh, with the previous attacks where innocent men, women, and children were wounded, uh, disfigured, and even killed because of these attacks. That's what happens in Israel you know, as well. And we need to be able to now realize why it's not such an easy thing for Israel to just uh, kind of go about what's happening, but to really focus in on the events that are taking place. That's where we need to come in and understand and why we need to stand with Israel as Israel stands with us as well during these times where they can really see what is taking place and how we can uh, work to achieve uh, and find out what's going on. I guarantee you behind the scenes, Israel's uh, Mossad is working with the FBI to help them taking care of this problem as they go through the uh, situation of trying to figure out what took place and how this happened. This terrible tragedy, we have to let the, the, those who did it though know that they're not going to take this country down. They can try to, to hurt us and terrorize us, but we're a nation of freedom. And you know what? We give the freedom so that we can live a life of understanding. But we also have to remember those who have protected us, those soldiers who are in the field, those who have been in the past, and also to understand those who have given their life for our country. This is why we must stop these terrorist attacks before they get to our land. We need to make sure, just like President Bush was doing, he made sure that these types of things didn't happen. We can't get lax on our borders, and we can't get lax to think, oh, this will never happen here. Not only has it happened, it's happened and it's killed and wounded innocent civilians, an eight-year-old child. We don't need to bring these people to justice. We need to defend our nation. We need to stand against them and show them, you mess with us, we're going to mess with you ten times more. We need to stand and show them it's not going to happen again. We need to let our president know we stand with him, but we don't want this man or these groups to be brought to justice. We want them to be taken, wiped out. We need to start it and take care of it so that this doesn't happen again so we don't live in fear. And I want to encourage you, again, go to our website, rabbiscott.com. Sign up for our newsletters. We'll keep you informed of what's going on. We have a lot of things happening here at our ministry. Again, the Roku channel, the Messianic channel, will be bringing you great Messianic teachings so that you can see more and hear what's going on and be ready to, uh, wherever you are, through your iPhones, your Androids, uh, all those. Now we have our apps, YouTube, Vimeo, Cross TV, 
and now the Roku channel, the Messianic channel. We are a listener-supported show. We also need your help with, to continue this type of work. You can go to the website, rabbiscott.com, to donate securely online or send it to our post office box. But let us hear from you, too. Remember, we are on Twitter now as well. You can uh, join us at Rabbi underscore Scott. Be a part of that. Check out the Facebook as well. And we want you, again, to be a part of this great opportunity. If you have a Roku box, uh, link up to our page. If you don't have one, go to the store, buy one. It's a great opportunity. It lets you watch uh, hundreds and thousands of different stations, great Christian stations as well, right there on it. But until next week, this is Rabbi Scott saying shalom and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. <laughs>